A mass funeral took place in Ondo State, southwest Nigeria, for victims of shooting earlier this month at the Catholic Church in the town of Owo. At least 40 worshippers were killed and dozens of others wounded when gunmen opened fire at St. Francis Xavier Church, Ondo State. Governor Rotimi Akeredolu joined friends and families of the victims at the emotional gathering. The Nigerian government said the extremist group known as Islamic State West Africa Province carried out the massacre, though local officials say it is not clear who is behind the attack. No one has been arrested in connection with the attack. Nigerian security forces are struggling to contain deadly attacks across the country by jihadists, kidnappers and suspected secessionists. The Nigerian Christian Pilgrim Commission has flagged off the delayed 2021 main pilgrimage and 2022 Easter pilgrimage to Israel and the Kingdom of Jordan. Both were put on hold due to travel ban in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. Our correspondent who was at the flag of ceremony at the Nnamdi Azikiwe International Airport in Abuja this Wednesday reports that the pilgrims were admonished to be ambassadors of Nigeria as they embark on the holy exercise. It was an atmosphere of praises and gratitude to God as Nigerians from the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, gathered for their journey to the Holy Lands in Israel and Jordan. Speaking at the flag of ceremony styled Pilgrimage for Sustainable National Development, the Executive Secretary, Nigeria Christian Pilgrim Commission, Reverend Yakubu Pam, said about 400 Nigerians were selected for the 2021 main pilgrimage and 2022 Easter pilgrimage to Israel and the Kingdom of Jordan. He therefore admonished the pilgrims to pray for the peace and unity of the nation, as well as project Nigeria's image in a positive light. In the midst of the conflict, we were able to make pilgrimage exercise to the Kingdom of Jordan. And the first of its kind, we went, no abscondment, nobody died there, nothing happened there. And it was recorded that it was globally, that in the whole world there was no pilgrim activities anywhere. That was the first of its kind. And we are proud to say the Nigerian opened the door for pilgrimage that is going on now. It is the continuity of the success of the last pilgrimage that we are doing it now. And by the special grace of God, we believe that this one will be more successful. When you go, ask God about the nation, about the family. Go with prayer requests of your friends and other people. Pray for them as well. Trust that you are going to meet with God. Our God answers not only what you are asking, but beyond what you are asking. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, also urged the pilgrims to be good ambassadors of the Federal Republic of Nigeria while in the Holy Lands, as this will also bring pride and admiration for the nation's federal capital territory. You are expected to conduct yourselves in the best behavior, worthy of emulation, and we expect our pilgrims back by the special grace of God, meaning that no one should abscond. You must be good ambassadors of Nigeria wherever you go. When on pilgrimage, our focus should not be on strengthening, should not only be on strengthening our relationship with God alone, but we should also focus on improving our relationships with our host countries the establishment of relationship among fellow pilgrims to network amongst ourselves and to also improve bilateral relations that can lead to better uh, outcome for the country. Some of the pilgrims who interacted with Clearview Television expressed gratitude to God for the opportunity to understand and appreciate the root of their faith and journey to salvation. Our country is at the crossroads. Our country needs prayers, so that is one of the other pillars of our journey, to pray for Nigeria, to pray for the peace and progress of this country, especially at this political era, that God will usher in new dispensation. This will be the first time Nigeria will experience Israel and Jordan in the history of pilgrimages in Nigeria.